Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I'm gonna talk about the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. What I consider the best camera on any, any smartphone out there, period. Now, we can talk about camera specs all we want, but the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL have done something really interesting this year. Whether it's the front-facing camera or the rear camera, they have come and dominated the space in taking images and photos of this year in 2017. Now, in a landscape where every device has a dual camera setup, from your budget smartphones to your iPhones, Samsungs, you name it, doesn't matter what device it is, the Pixel 2 and 2 XL have done an amazing job. Now, this is possible because um, Google, with of course work with Qualcomm here, have done something really interesting. The 835 processor is what powers the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. It has vector, vector units, and the vector units go ahead to help you take better images with of course the, the some of the uh, AI processing done with it. So there's AI, there's vector units, which is separate from your processor, but it's within the processor engine. I'm making a whole mumble of that whole explanation. But basically working together, you're getting some really stunning images. And that, that's what makes it possible. Now we can talk about the specs and the lenses and all that kind of fun stuff. But I have to say though, that's one of the bright spots of the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. It's like earlier this year, I checked out the Pixel 2XL, I held back on giving a review on that device because I got a device with a terrible display, I had the blue tint, I had grayscale, a whole bunch of stuff. It just annoyed me and I just wouldn't recommend it because Google had a lot of issues. So it looks like those issues are away. I've been using both devices for about 60 days in full, uh, courtesy of Verizon, so I want to thank them for that. Um, and I will say though that while using these devices, I have to say, the image quality has just been a stunning experience. Now, start off with the rear camera. Now, the rear camera is a single lens camera. It's about 12 point something megapixels. Um, and it does portrait mode as well, which is the biggest thing in 2017. This camera takes some stunning photos. Portrait, uh, it's got some really nice high dynamic range. So, you know, someone like my buddy, um, Danny Winger likes to talk about clouds and how you can see the cloud textures and things like that. The Pixel 2 XL does an amazing job with stuff like that. You can check out the videos from Danny as well on that subject, but it really showcases what this camera can do. When you're taking images of people, when I was out in Hawaii, hanging out with, um, you know, uh, the Unlocker, Super Saf, you know, Mr. Mobile, taking photos while we went hiking and seeing the kind of images that just came out of that was truly stunning. You know, it gets just, the whole breadth because what it does is it takes the images, it stitches it, it uses the AI to say this is the best kind of best quote type of photo you'll get in this setting and it just does it very well. Now when you switch over to the front facing camera, this is where it truly amazes me and shines. Now um, you know we do have um, portrait mode with different cameras. The iPhone went with, of course, a multi-sensored array with the notch there on the top of the iPhone. And that was meant to give us a really stunning portrait mode camera. Google, of course, does that with AI processing and you can see how well it does with the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. It takes absolutely mind-blowing photos, especially in low light. I haven't even talked about the rear camera in low light, but the front-facing camera in low light is truly amazing. It really showcases how well the, of their technology with AI, vector processing all together, comes in to give you just fun, great looking photos. You're hanging out with friends, with family, especially around the holidays. Like you're taking those photos, you're snapping, taking photos left and right. You can see what it does. Uh, one of the cool things is when you take the photo uh, and you switch quickly to, to view it, you can actually see processing. So basically, it's basically calculating, stitching, and making that photo better for you. It's like throwing some awesome Google sauce on there, like pew, 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 making it better looking photos altogether, which is, which is amazing, which is nice to see. I think they've done a really good job with that. And I think when people see the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 Excel in terms of taking images, whether it's of themselves or with a selfie or just pointing it and taking a picture of friends or a scene, you'd be truly amazed at what this camera can actually do. I think in all conditions, low light, uh, uh, you know, with a rear camera, uh, in, indoors, outdoors, it's fantastic. Low light with the front facing camera, indoors and outdoors, it's truly amazing. And I think this, this device, the Pixel 2 and 2 XL, is probably the best 
uh, camera on any smartphone in 2017. Now as a phone, it's a solid phone too. You've got really solid battery life on both devices. Um, you've also got, um, you know, just running the latest version of Android on there. So you've got that benefit there. Uh, the squeeze feature, forget about that. Just focus on the camera. And for me, that's my best camera phone of 2017. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, or you disagree with me, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to pick up a Pixel 2 or 2XL, use our links down below. Thank you very much, and always enjoy your entertainment. And yes, subscribe to the channel.